Got to take it easy with that hair, too. Runner goes toward third, and he'll get there in plenty of time as uh, Hill couldn't get a handle on it. And I don't think would have had a play on Burris. He got a huge jump. MassInSports.com with oh, live yeah. game blocks. Oh, look at that play. Emmanuel Burris, a 4-6-3 double play. That was remarkable. And that's the kind of play that can win a ball game for a guy, whether it's 300 or something. Jammed and bounced right side. Eckstein diving stop to the pitcher. Off his glove, a run scores. And Ishikawa will go to third. Now they weren't going to get Burris at first. And that's popped up. It's going to be a tough play, not hit very high. Burris caught out of nowhere, and he makes the catch. We have seen some really nice plays tonight on pop-ups from middle infielders. And right now, it's Emmanuel Burris' turn. And again, with all that's going on, I'm watching Ishikawa the whole time. And as always, the guy that gets the best route usually is the second baseman. And then caught by Burris. Wow. And that keeps Albert Pujols from coming up. One ball and two strikes. That is caught by the diving Burris. Out number two. Uh, the difficulty of this play is a high back end. And for anybody who's going to their right, if you're a right-handed player, when you commit yourself to a jump, and even it goes completely prone and parallel to the ground here, the high back ender is one that is, is the diff most difficult one to get. Ground ball up the middle. Nice stop there. Boy, Emmanuel Burris has made a couple nice plays. He gets it to Uribe in time. Fastball pulled to the hole, and that's going to find its way through. They will wave win in. They throw by Epier, cut off by Loney. So the Giants finally break through. They are now one for ten. With runners in scoring position, and it's Emmanuel Burris who singles to right to cash in win. So the run is uh, many different ways. Here's the 1 1 on Ryan, and he lines this, and it is snagged by Burris, a diving grab. And a 1 2 3 inning for Randy Johnson. Nifty play by Emmanuel Burris. We move on to inning number two. No scored Coors Field. Ubaldo Jimenez for the Rockies. Randy Johnson for the Giants. Burris. Side retired. Nice play. Line drive. Base hit. Right field. Here comes Ford. Here's the throw home. It is not in time. The Giants have done it again. Terrific throw, and they nearly nailed Ford at home plate. But Emmanuel Burris getting the first pitch, rifling a shot, and they had Sweeney a bit shallow. And here's that throw Kite's talking about a seed on a fly, and Suzuki could not hang on. And even the great speed of Darren Ford challenged by the accuracy of the throw from Sweeney. And for the seventh time this year, the Giants have had a walk-off home run here at AT&T. And, Kite, that is just what they do. Jeremy Affel takes over on the mound to face Brandon Phillips. Diving play at short. And a throw is in time to get the runner. That's a nice play. By Manny. Matsui pops it up. And it's going to be Burris who saves Crawford. That's what your double play partner is supposed to do. I mentioned the high sky earlier and playing several years here. I've got to tell you guys, this is one of the most difficult places to play gay baseball in the entire big leagues. Yep, I agree. I, it was like that. It's this one towards the hole and Burris on the dive. 
from the seat of his pants. Got him. Nice play. He's been unbelievable. You talk about getting to the comfort zone of the position. Emmanuel Burris has been putting on a clinic, especially when he's had to go to his left. This is a base hit. And it's good enough just to get this ball. But then to roll over and from the seat of your pants throw a strike to Sandoval and make it look all so easy. You know what he's going to learn, Mike? He's going to learn that. Sure. A diving catch by Burris to end the inning. Burris up the middle. That'll be a base hit. And this will break the string. With hits in. And a base hit up the middle. They're going to wave in Hall. They got a throw. It's a horrible throw. And this game is tied. And look at the reaction the Giants dug out. And a loud cheer in this ballpark from the Giants fans. And he bounces this one into right field, a base hit. And here comes the Panda. Hayward's got it. His throw home is cut off. The throw to third, and they're going to get belt. And if Hayward or if Freeman lets that go, they got a shot. I thought they did. Turns out to be a break. But if you have to give up an out of the bases to get one in, so be it. Another nice at bat. Giants are coming out swinging against Hudson. It's four hits now, the first time through the lineup. I don't know if Ross called off the three and two. Crawford goes. So we're going to line drive into center field. Base hit. Crawford never stopped. He ends up at third. This game is tied. What a read from Brandon Crawford. Four straight hits. And all of them have gone up to the middle or to the opposite side of the left field side of second base. Great at bat. Goes inside out, right back up the middle. And a ball you might, might thought that the catch may have a chance. Burris into left center field. Holiday coming over. He's going to make the catch. And his throw is going to be cut off. Game tied. Nice at bat. And that's exactly what he was trying to do. And he does it in a two strike count. Well, it looked like he got the ball up a little bit. We see the reception for that effort from Burris. Bouncing ball up the middle and a base hit. Buster Posey being waved in. And it's a four to two game and a nice at bat for Emmanuel Burris. Oh, indeed. Hit it on the ground and run, kid. Now let's watch the back control. Get it in fastball, not a hanger either, right down around the knees. But we saw Emmanuel Burris do this a lot all spring long. One big reason why he made this club. He had control in the middle of the diamond. And that's going to get Frank Francisco, the closer, out of this game. Terry Collins is going to come out and get him. Wow. Burris hits it out towards center field. Taylor with his back to the infield sprints and it's off his glove and off the 401 side. Burris runs well and he'll run on his way to third. The throw by Taylor is way offline, but man, did it have some distance on it. <laughs> and they'll score that a triple. Yeah, well hit ball. Glad to see uh, Mr. Hunter smoke a ball. Got to the spot too. He got to the yeah. spot, but you know what? Burroughs will take it, that's for sure. Yes. He'll take that knock. His last triple was back in 2008.